It doesn't come around too often if you're Harlem baseball. Often is 1999. Tonight, the Harlem baseball team had a chance to do something that hasn't been done since before they were born. Sports director Dan Booth is in Rome, where the busloads of Bulldog fans have witnessed history tonight. Dan, break it down for us back here at home. Thank you, Alyssa. Tonight was a night decades in the making. The Harlem Bulldogs are state champions for the first time since 1986. And it wasn't easy by any stretch of the imagination, but they did find out a way to sweep Ringgold in tonight's state championship doubleheader. Now, when it comes to tonight's action, it was just incredible. The emotion was on full display from the jump. And when the final out of tonight's state championship was recorded, an entire season of hard work for the Bulldogs paid off and years of heartbreak in, in the playoffs seemed to go away in the blink of an eye for Harlem. The Bulldogs pulled off comebacks wins in both of their games tonight just to be able to sweep. In game one, they were trailing three to two in their final at bat, and they scored three runs in the top of the seventh to come out on top five to three. In game two, it was a pitcher's duel for most of the way, but sophomore Will Holder held his own and did his thing by throwing a complete game and only gave up one run that came in the first inning. A two to one one victory in game two helped the dogs clinch state. There are so many great storylines about this team and tonight in general, but the biggest one has to be head coach Jimmy Lewis. He's been the head coach of the Harlem baseball program since 1979. That's 44 years of being a major part of this community. And when the inevitable question about his future came up, he answered in the only way the legendary Jimmy Lewis could. I'm going to coach till I drop dead in the third base box, okay? I mean, when you're having fun, I mean, you're having fun. How am I going to quit now? You know, be real quiet and don't let me grow up. I want to remain a kid. This is fabulous. This is fantastic. I, 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 this makes all that work worthwhile. That old man's always yelling at us. <laughs> It's so much. It's I don't even know how to explain this feeling, but it's a good feeling, and these coaches deserved it. Let me give thanks to the fans. Let me give thanks to my coaches. They're the hardest working crowd in the universe. And I mean, we had a lot of stuff, a lot of people we were we were playing for too. Congrats to Harlem and everybody that's a part of that community because it was so much fun covering this team this season, a season where they finished 35 and one overall, swept every single one of their playoff series and won a state championship that this community is going to hold near and dear to their hearts for years to come. Reporting from Advent Health Stadium in Rome, Dan Booth on your side. Hey, somebody give Coach Jimmy the whole summer off. I think he deserves it. I mean, you think about last fall, football, <laughs> even softball. They've been waiting for this. Even that whole community, enjoy it, right? You know, it, it's just amazing. It really is. It, it, it's been so much fun covering this team. And this team played their tails off tonight to be able to get these games because it wasn't easy to say the least and they still found a way to get it done when their backs were up against the wall multiple times and they just got it done and it really is a special group of young men and of course head coach Jimmy Lewis who's trying to do his best impression of a 20 year old who he told us early on too which was pretty cool. Hey when in Rome well thank you so much Dan.